So at the height of the Cuban and Haitian refugee crisis, we performed at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And a couple of the cast members were given a chance to take a tour of the place in a Humvee because it was important that we know where to go and where not to go. So we're in this Humvee and we're going around Guantanamo Bay and, and at the, the place uh, that used to be the golf course had been turned into what could only be described as a refugee camp with a rope, a line going down the middle of it to separate the Cuban and Haitian refugees. And it wasn't a pretty picture. It wasn't a pretty sight. It was, it was really, um, it was really astonishing to see how much people were willing to, to, to risk, to create a better life for their family and, and, and to try to have access to prosperity that they just didn't have where they were. And there was also a half circle sort of around the edge of the camp, uh, landmines that had been left there. And they were removed later in the 90s, but the soldiers kept telling us every once in a while, somebody will try to escape the refugee camp and get a leg or an arm blown off. And it just put a whole different shine on our presence there and what we were there to do and the importance of what we were doing. And and as we we had time to set up, I think we were doing three shows in one day. And as we're um, uh, finishing the show, we would always stand on front of the stage at the end of the show to shake the hands of everyone who came to, to see us perform. And we just got mobbed. It was in, in a good way. People, you know, hugs and, and people were handing us gifts and the most one of the most memorable gifts was a fishnet bag uh, full of empty milk crates that this particular older gentleman, I mean, he had to be in his 70s. This particular gentleman had used to try to float to Florida to create a better life for his family. And that, that piece of memorabilia stuck in my mind, uh, as well as many of us on tour, whenever we thought we had something to complain about, whenever we thought we couldn't do something, whenever we thought there was a reason for us to procrastinate or make excuses, that raft reminded us exactly where our minds should be and how important and how grateful we should be for what we had.